What's up everyone? Good afternoon. It's Rule V1. I'm out here in Eastford, Connecticut. And I believe it's Phoenixville from what the map is saying, which is pretty cool too. And we're right here at General Lion uh, Grave, Nathaniel Lion, legendary Indian killer. This guy's been in all types of battles. They said when the funeral was here, he, there was 15,000 people here. I don't know where they all would have been, but this must have been packed seven ways to Sunday. But I'm gonna go in and look what's right there. Right when you you go in, I'm climbing right over. <coughs> Before we get to him, look at this. Barack Smith. Wow. 1874. Freemason symbol. Still not as old as the 1824 we've seen in Warren Mass, but interesting. The flints. Ooh, the keys. You see this? So you see the keys, which are from Warren, and then the Trowbridges. If you look into the Lyons family, he was linked into that, which we just seen in Warren. And the keys. And then the lions you see over there in Woodstock. Look at this. First time I've seen one of these. Lloyd Botham, Louise A. It's a 1836, yeah. Pretty well kept over here. Danforth Keys. Is this the Danforth Keys? Is that why we didn't see his grave over there? How did we see it? It could be a different Danforth Keys. Age 62. I'm going to remember this. It could be a different one. Hmm. It's like just a little nook. This ain't that far from where I live. The odd thing about it is Nathaniel Lyon died my birthday. Well, not 1971, but 810. Is that a tree? One of those trees? Yep. With the yarn. It's very hard to see that. Get over here. Hulda. Carpentier with a yarn, another yarn. Elmira, huh? Little guys over here. Ernest Lyon. Wow. This one's got the red from the leaves, just like over there and and uh, Warren. He's in line. His Lion family is definitely the big elite family that has to go back to England. And as we go further with this next year, this is going to be the last episode of the Graveyard Tales this season. We're going to continue with Warren and find the Amadown's parents' grave over there in Oxford. That's my goal next season and see how far back these families go would probably be interesting to look into the lion because the lion family is big. Definitely over here. Latham, look at that. Masonic in value. Youngs. 1918. A mini obelisk. One year. Someone died one year, two years, six years. Here's another one of those 
see what I'm saying? I didn't even come here to see dead children. And the minute I come here, I find, let's see, five minutes in, I find the dead children here. Look at that one, July 27th. 27's a ritual number right there. And it's self one, two, and six. 83 Eastman's one year right there two three years you kidding me that's crazy I wanted to see this and them look like they're the tin ones or they really this has got a good fashion to it with some little moundy mounds coming up there's another little graveyard up the street nope this is real stone holy mackerel latham william latham she's got the leviathan leaves in the corners some other kind of circle symbology some pretty good pillars they look like alien heads We'll flip them upside down later, see what else comes to be with them. Up there too, look at that. Huh, that's cool. Another one. Could have these been done over, possibly. The white stone holds out good, as I was saying. I'm contemplating making my own will and having a stone made. I might do the white. It seems to hold out good. Look at Nathaniel Lyons. Now when I see one broken and fell, I want to see. It's always a mason you could miss. Going into Arnold's. Hmm. There's a Wilson's. That's funny because the last, <laughs> the last battle of retreat with General Lyon was Wilson's Creek, and he's buried over here with Wilson's. Ain't that friggin' cool, dinky I can't believe they said that. That's not like gunshots. <clears throat> We're definitely in redneck area though, if you know anything about Connecticut. And it's far more red out here than it is blue, you'd be surprised. 1896 Hall. All right, let's get back to where we were. No mud flutters though, I don't think, are these. That little one right there looks possibly. <clears throat> Something I never really looked for until I seen that. And Woodstock, that one snapped. Looks like someone was up here, a bunch of assholes once. They came up here snapping graves. Burnham. What's this little guy? I'm getting wicked deja vu over here like you wouldn't believe, hey. Like I've been here before. Strange. It's an odd little stone. Thomas. Alright. Phillips, even 1832, 1817. <laughs> this is a cute little graveyard, there's no doubt about that. Sawyer. All right. 
as we make it to the back side of this grave. Let's take a good look. Oh, it gives all the battles too. Pretty cool. Veracruz, Cerro Contreras, Cherubusco, Molino del Rey, Chapalutepec, City of Mexico. I don't know if I said that other one right, but General Nathaniel Lyon. And a picture in the Wikipedia kind of scrawny, but look at that coat of arms. Wow. You don't see that every day. Symbology of the yin yang. One of them battles here, uh, the Bloody Creek battle. No, the Blood Island. They don't put it on there. Was it on there? No, there's more of them. That's the one where he was over in California's side where he killed Indians. And he also killed over a hundred old men, women and children. And the South holds so this against us. I seen it in another video. And the guy in the video said, yeah, there's probably one out of a hundred Massachusetts people who who know who Nathaniel Lyon is. But we're here right now and this is it. Look at the eagle up there. There's like a split in it, like as if lightning hit it and split that ball right in the middle. Like what is the coincidence of that? Let's look over here. Look at it, it even looks like it's burnt. Hmm. Gives us dates here. Born July 14th, 1818. Killed in the Battle of Wilson's Creek, August 10th, 1861. Sanford of Grasso, Webster, Mass. Made this. Huh. Huh. What do you know, mate? Who would have known that? Capture of Camp Jackson, May 10th, 1861. Boonville, June 16th, 1861. Duck Springs, August 1st, 1861. Hmm. First time I've seen straight blocks like that. I can't believe how many lions are here. Zerwoon, Zeruaya, Mrs. Zeruaya. Hmm. Pages. Some other kind of that definitely looked like he got hit by lightning. Look at this side. North is that way. Going that way, because that's the way we came. South is that way. Going down the road. Further down that way. The sun seems like it's coming through that way hard to tell where the sun is because it's so gloomy right now you see the light within the video a little cannon here we can know if this was a real cannon at once whatever is it's plugged up good holy mackerel that thing's solid all right then later general nathaniel lion <coughs> bacchus Who's this in the Iron Gate? Look at these things, they almost look like clown faces. Tell me that ain't creepy. That is pretty bugged out right there. First time we've seen a fence like this. As you look down it, they're all the same. That's a solid Maria Green. Vernon Gilbert. <laughs> they obviously had a little money to be able to have one of these made. There's also a memorial in Missouri for Nathaniel Lyon. 
because his body was actually found by the Confederates out there and then sent back here. And that's when they made this grave. Did I look at these two? No. And these are the ones that could be mud flooders. Yeah, possibly. The lettering looks like it goes into the ground a little. <laughs> Ezekiel Badger. Interesting. What year did he die? I don't know what that is. I get. 1825 <laughs> this one too oh yeah this one's definitely a mud flutter let's get a closer look at this huh so looks like the second graveyard we possibly find the mud flood graves at we'll end it right here between this obelisk the young children looks like this four or five on that obelisk and nathaniel lion right here i'm out everyone have a nice day see you next year in the next season